what's going on everybody welcome to the adventures the adventures of daddy and bella and welcome to woodstock new york three days of peace and music we made it here to woodstock new york home of the 1969 music festival and check out these cool wooden guitars that line the streets it's another one right over here Now, if you know your history and you know about Woodstock, the music festival actually did not happen here at Woodstock. But that's a long story, so I'm gonna get to that. The promoters of Woodstock couldn't find a venue, the space to hold the event, the concert here in Woodstock, New York. When they couldn't find a venue large enough here in Woodstock, the promoters of the concert then went to nearby town of Wolkill, about 40 miles away from this location. However, in July, just one month before the concert was set to begin, the town of Wolkill passed a requirement to get a permit for crowds over 5,000 people. They were expecting 50,000 people. That left the concert promoters in another frenzy to find another location this just 30 days before the concert was set to begin. So I just left this uh, small shop here. They have a lot of t-shirts in there and things like that. I was asking the guy who owned the shop, um, where would I go about getting an original ticket from Woodstock? Now, the guy showed me, he doesn't allow filming photographs in his shop, so I completely respect that. Um, so he pulls out two original 1969 Woodstock tickets. So I said, that's awesome. He goes, yeah, they're signed by Michael Lang. Now, I was doing research last night and Michael Lang is the one that actually uh, promoted the concert. Uh, through uh, Rolling Stone, Stone magazine, you could actually at that time you could um, order the order the tickets and they were mailed to you, or you could stop in record locations in like Manhattan, New York City, things like that. So it was neat to see those, and they were actually signed. Unfortunately, they were a little out of my price range, it's two hundred and forty dollars a piece. But there's a cool backstory about uh, with them. Michael Lang himself, who actually lives here in Woodstock, according to that gentleman, signs them and brings them there to the store to sell. So that was pretty cool. Since Woodstock happened about 43 miles from here in Bethel, New York, we're gonna actually head over there and check out Bethel, see what's going on there. Look at all the cool stuff these stores got. Of course, everything's gonna be about peace, love, happiness, music. They even got a uh, float there. If you wanna try to float on a peace sign in your pool. All right, so I'm just leaving uh, the Woodstock Aquarium. This is, uh, that's Mark back there. This guy's awesome, gave me a lot of information. Stop in the store. He's got a lot of candy. I love candy. And uh, he's got some cool t-shirts too. He also gave me uh, a lot of information. Very nice guy. Walking. I was walking by, I found some more of those uh, cool guitars on the side of the street. This one's pretty cool. They got another one over here. I think this one so far is my favorite. This one's made out of, it's like a tin or tin foilish material. But uh, I don't know, I kind of dig this one. This one's pretty cool. Like a flying guitar, it's got wings on it and everything. It's pretty neat. I was talking to Mark back there in the Woodstock Emporium, and uh, you know, we were talking about how they kept switching the locations, you know, from uh, Sargis, or actually from Sargis to Woodstock to Wallkill to Bethel. You know, it'd be interesting to know if anyone knew how many people actually showed up at these other places because you gotta remember, this is 1969, this is days before internet, before, uh, you know, anything. I mean, the only way to really let people know was, I guess, the radio, uh, maybe TV, you know, when they switched locations, because with only 30 days notice, I'm sure a lot of people showed up in Wallkill, man, waiting for that concert, finding out at the last minute that it was not at that location. All right, so I'm walking down the street here. I've met this beautiful young lady here, and she is awesome, and she's gonna sing something for us and play some music. She's multi-talented. She's got a guitar. She's got a harmonica. Do you sing too? Oh yeah, of course I She sing. sings too? Oh my god, she's beautiful, and sings, have, and everything. I have artwork of all of Woodstock's um, beautiful businesses, churches, you name it. Things that make Woodstock beautiful. So is besides the street here, is there somewhere where people can see you play? Yes, actually, uh, it's funny you should ask. I always play at the Harmony. I just put up posters. Hopefully they want to pull them down like they do at the Walk and Roll, also known as the Harmony. There's my buddies right there. They rock it too. Um, we play at the Harmony. We change our names every day because we're not too attached to the genre aspect of it. But we do Woodstockers and the Rock City Ri Riders in um, in honor of the Rock City Rebels from the Herbie White Colony of the Mavericks. So we keep it going. 
And we're not elitist, we're inclusive. So if you play the guitar and you can play a good song, then come play with us. So it's every Saturday, every Saturday, Sunday in the afternoon. All right, cool. So I'm gonna sing a song for you. Just a little insert. lady was awesome check this out they got more of those guitars more of them Muddy Mouse love Muddy Mouse they got a uh, peace guitar oh this one's pretty cool they got Jimi Hendrix and they seem to be sporadically placed so uh, there are oh, here's one over here and uh, this one's appropriately in front of Pegasus footwear because it has a Pegasus on it and no way, look who it is. Dave Hughes has been here too. There he is, right there. Oh my God, this guy's all over the place. Oh jeez. As soon as I said Dave Hughes has been here, the thunder came. <laughs> Should I be worried? I am exactly from Woodstock, Georgia. It's a small town northeast of Atlanta, northwest of Atlanta. Wait a minute, let me look at Atlanta. Yeah, northeast. And, uh, no, it is northwest. Just on the west side, there's a 75 and 85 coming out of Atlanta. Woodstock is right at the foothills of uh, the Appalachian Mountains, and Smoky Mountains kind of take off from there, too, going up into Tennessee, and the Appalachians go more into uh, Asheville and, and North Carolina. And Woodstock in Georgia, what's that like? Is it like Woodstock, New York? Not at all like Woodstock, New York. There's a, uh, I don't know... I don't know what the voter population is here, but uh, yeah, I felt outnumbered, you might say, in the last election. And uh, uh, But everyone's really independent. People are very nice there, but I don't even go walking in my neighborhood because I don't want people to say, look, there goes the hippie. <laughs> and uh, it's sad because I'll walk anywhere else in Atlanta, but Woodstock, it's just, I'm, I think I'm what I call hyper empathic, so I can feel the energy. I might be imagining it, but either way. I could get more exercise if I went walking around my neighborhood. There's a nice hippie downtown, organic food places, uh, there's a record store that rivals my record collection. I was really amazed. So my dad and my brother-in-law had the idea, why don't you start a Woodstock South concert and maybe we can get 500,000 people to show up and uh, convert that community. Now what brought you here to Woodstock, New York? There was a family reunion. Half of my family had a family reunion on Hunter Mountain and uh, we rented out a whole Greenview Mountain Inn and, and we had a talent show there. I had a yoga festival to do just before I came here so I had all my gear and so we put on a talent show. I set up my PA. I Googled two spots in Woodstock, New York, and both of them were recording studios. I just liked the structures from above. One was round, and the, they were both uh, recording studios, so I figured it was an omen, and I'd bring my equipment here and play and try to find some geniuses to help produce me. What do you play? I play a double stereo guitar rig. I play meditative music called Music Mosaics, 
I have about 2,000 hours up in the last two years on YouTube, and uh, mostly just flow music. I break into my own. Oh, let's uh, let's plug you, man. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, Astral Music Man, like the Astral Plane, Astral Music Man. And uh, you go there, and you go to my Matthew Barbaro playlist, and you will find all that music there. And literally three to five to seven hour videos I make, and you can just start painting or writing or something and I, I really just want to facilitate people's creativity and people's uh, peace of mind connection with the universe I also play on 432 Hertz it's a special key a little bit lower more mandalas appear in the 432 Hertz and something you can look into called cymatics where uh, you put sand on a piece of steel you hit it with a tone it turns into geometry and, and that geometry happens in the 432 hertz scale much more than in the 440 scale, which is a whole technical term, but when you see it, it might sound a little bit more magical now and then people are getting there. All right. But, uh, thank you, nice. Sean, for your interest, and uh, I do wish you great experience on your uh, Bethel journey. All right, Matthew was awesome, man. Safe travels and safe journeys to you, and definitely we plug this channel. What's that channel again on YouTube? It's Astral Music Man. All right, right cool, here, man. brother. All right, we'll plug him. So check him out. He's right on YouTube. And uh, check out the adventures of Daddy and Bella. Peace and love. From I'll tell you what, Woodstock seems like a pretty cool town. Even though Woodstock actually didn't happen here, there's a lot of stores, a lot of music places, places to eat, and things to do here in Woodstock. So uh, come check this area out. And uh, we're going to go head over to Bethel now. I think it's time to get over there. And it's about to rain, and I think it's going to pour. So, uh, good timing. I was intending on just making one video uh, for the whole Woodstock thing, but what I think I'm going to do is because of uh, the interviews that I did, I think I'm going to make two videos. So, uh, look for the second video uh, for Bethel, and uh, we'll put that up maybe a day after this one. Guys, thanks for watching The Adventures of Daddy and Bella. Please hit like, share, and subscribe. If you liked the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, hit that thumbs down. I want to know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.